not wanting the person that wants you. How you doing? This is Ron Simplify Myers, Arthur, podcaster, and your Uplifting Life partner. Uh, this conversation was one I just had a couple of days ago with a couple of young ladies, um, and they were talking about how hard it is to uh, find guys because, and both of them are 21, and, and they were basically talking about how they're looking for love. They're basically looking to move into the next level of serious commitment and hopefully even into marriage. And they were talking about how all the younger guys um, are playing games out here in the field. You know the stories we hear. And I was sharing with them how um, a lot of young guys, they're not at a point where um, settling down is something that they're necessarily looking for. And so for a lot of guys, if you come across at, at, at their age, being ready to commit, you're going to run a lot of guys off. But here's why. And you guys have heard me talk about this before. Guys are taught. It's not a man thing. Guys are being taught from an early age. It is about how many women you can have. You are the man. The more women you can sleep with, the more girlfriends you can have. Keep the main girl on the side. You guys have heard me talk about that before. And we do things for one or two reasons, either to avoid pain or to gain pleasure. And if it's pleasurable to have many women, then of course one woman would, would equal pain. So until men make a shift, and I'm using men in this example, but it's women also. It's human beings. And you guys know that's really what I talk about. It's not a man or female conversations. This happens to be human beings. But anyway, we're using men in this particular topic. But until he makes that shift... And he, and he realizes it's more pain to lose the one than the pleasure of having many. If he doesn't make that shift, he'll never ever commit totally to the relationship in which he's in. And it has nothing to do with age. And it has nothing to do with the fact that he marries you. I hear a lady say, well, if he loved me, then he wouldn't do it. It's not about you. And it's not about love. You guys know I've said before, love is accepting people just as the way they are. That it's not an emotional thing, but I understand for most people when they talk love, that's what they're saying. He doesn't love me or he wouldn't do it. But the, ch the challenge is not the love. The challenge is the mindset until he makes a shift there. That is what's going to keep him from ever being totally committed. So what I was sharing with them is that a lot of young ladies at their particular age who is looking for that usually ends up dating guys that are a little bit older. And the reason for that is because it has to do with, um, I don't want to say maturity, but that's the word that most people are going to look for. Because I don't want to say that just makes you mature because you're ready to settle down. Because that's a choice. Um, but anyway, you have to really, normally as guys get a little bit older, they start looking towards that. Because um, they've gone out here and they've played the games, they've listened to the stories about being the man. And eventually you get past wanting to be the man and you want to be the man to a to one woman so but at the same time these young ladies were telling me and that's the top the why we're on the topic we're having today they were saying but it's amazing how the guys that want to be with them and the ones that uh really are attracted to them they don't want and they said they just don't understand why that happens and it reminded me of uh when i was working at cvs i was a manager and i had to go uh, get the cash registers out of the pharmacy and and the young ladies were back there having the exact same conversation about guys and you know that kind of stuff and um, not being attracted to the guys they wanted to be with them and I told them I said y'all ain't looking for a serious relationship anyway y'all I said but I'm gonna tell you guys why you're you're not attracted to the guys that want you and the same thing I told the young ladies is you haven't recognized your value yet you haven't realized that you're worthy and that relationships are not supposed to be complicated. Life is not supposed to be complicated. That's the myth that has been passed on for generations and it makes people think if they're not going through issues, then something must be wrong. The reality is when you learn that you're valuable, you learn that you are worthy, then you recognize that he's supposed to treat you that way. And when you find a man that does that, you need to be like, ah, Someone who recognizes how valuable and how worthy I, act, I actually am. And it's not about chasing the ones that don't want you, trying to convince them 
that you're this way. See, actually chasing after someone that doesn't necessarily want you is the same thing as when we say that once a guy catches you, that he becomes bored and that he wants to go get someone else. Think about that. So you have to agree with both, both of those statements. If you agree that you are chasing someone who doesn't want you, and then once he gets you, he's off somewhere else, then you can't argue about the fact that that becomes a reality. But that's not the way it's supposed to be. And it's not that the guys, and that, that's again another one of those myths, it's not that guys, um, once they catch you, they need to be with someone else or they need to chase or whatever. If the reality is, it's called boredom. When, as human beings, we need certainty and we also need uncertainty. Certainty in relationships means every day we know exactly what's going on. If you have too much of that, then the relationship becomes boring and you got to learn how to spice that up. And unfortunately, some people haven't figured out how to do that inside of their relationship. So the enticements from outside the relationship starts to get them excited and why people will sometimes step outside the relationship because instead of figuring out how to create the excitement inside of their relationship, they think the, the, the what they can't have are um, the enticements from outside become something that makes them feel good. But you can create that inside of your relationship and you need to create that inside of your relationship just because if not, the relationship will become boring and no one wants to be in a boring relationship. So anyway, so the, 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 the main topic that we, the subject we were talking about here today is recognizing your value, your worth. Find someone who actually understands that. And then that's the relationship that you should nourish. That's the relationship you should become more creative in, in, in adding that spice into it. It's not about making life hard. It's not about playing games. Um, and unfortunately, in our society, we do that. We think the harder something is, then the reward must be that much better. And most of you have already seen. You continue to go down that path. And after you get with the person, it doesn't work. And you're sad and depressed because you chased something that wasn't a reality that you're trying to make become a reality when what you need to do, as you guys heard me say before, figure out what you want, figure out where you're headed, find someone who's headed in the same direction. And guess what? If you do that, then it's not supposed to be hard. You guys follow me? If you're looking for someone that's headed in the same direction with you, then that's, and, and again, when I say it's not hard, it doesn't mean you guys aren't going to disagree. Welcome to the real world. As I always say, I argue with myself on a daily basis. So if you're going to be with someone, you're definitely going to have differences because you've come different worlds, different cultures, different uh, uh, people that have influenced your life. We're going to see the world differently. And that's good because that add back in that uncertainty that we're talking about, that spice to relationships, uh, because you have someone who actually sees the world a little bit different than you. But that doesn't mean that difference needs to be someone who's not attracted to you and someone you're trying to force into that attraction. Um, and I heard uh, someone say, he said, um, the person who cares the least wins. That's that man. I just shook my head when he said it because unfortunately he believes that. And that lines up with this chasing someone um, and trying to make them want you is that believing that the one who cares the least and you're trying to, to, to make them really want you and then you're going to run once they do think about that <laughs> isn't that silly it's like you're going to try to get them to come after you and then the moment they do and they, they start to worship you and really want to be with you then you're no longer attracted does that make any sense uh but anyway, the bottom line is recognize your value, recognize your worth, find someone who understands that and life will be a lot simpler. Quit trying, as you guys hear me say all the time, quit trying to make the wrong people be the right people. Quit trying to make someone uh, do something they don't want to do because um, you'll pay for it in the long run. So again, as you know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. 
run on over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. See the things that I have going on. And folks, just remember, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Understand your value. Understand your worth. As I've said many times, you're a 10 and you're perfect. And if you understand that, then you understand why people worship you. Why pe And I shouldn't say worship because you guys know I don't believe in putting people on pedestals and stuff. But why someone would want to be with you. And if they're treating you right and they're doing the things that you want out of your life, why in the world would that be someone that you wouldn't be attracted to? I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.